my grandson and my brother and I are on our way to go jugging for blue catfish. My grandson had called me last week and wanted to go jugging, so we set up this trip. The odds are not in our favor because the fish haven't been biting and the weather is threatening. But we've never let that stop us before and we're just out to have a good time, so come along with us and let's see what happens. I only live about 30 minutes away from where we're backing the boat down the ramp now on Truman Lake and the rain has stopped and the weather is looking better but we only have about four hours to fish because my grandson has to go to work later this evening. Well, that was quite a ride. The weather's, the weather's acting up again, but we're gonna go through with this. My brother's cutting bait now. We're cutting up black perch, and that's what we're gonna use for bait. We have our first set of jugs baited up. It's so rough in the boat that I can't get pictures of everything, but we'll do the best we can. You can see by the clouds in the distance that the weather's getting threatening again, but we're heading up to the flats to see if there's any fish there. We're marking a few shad and a few small catfish, but that looks like it's going to be about the best under the circumstances that we can do. So we're going to go ahead and fish here. The depth of the water on this flat that we're going to fish is running around 20 foot deep. So Dwayne is setting the jugs around 20 foot deep. We figure that the wind is strong enough that the jugs will move fast enough that there will be enough lift to keep them from dragging on the bottom. We try to set our jugs perpendicular to the wind direction and in a straight line, which is hard to do with the wind like it is. We put 10 jugs of a different color in each line, that way we can keep track of them. We're setting out two groups of jugs. The first group is already set out. Dwayne is baiting up the other set as we move up the flat about two or three hundred yards. This flat is a little smaller, so we're going to set our jugs a little closer together. In Missouri, you have to stay with inside of the jugs when you're floating them, but we're going to run to the other side of the lake where we can still see the jugs and see if we can do a little trolling for about an hour. Well, that didn't take long. Dwayne caught a crappie before we got all the way around that point from where we saw the ducks. Hold your right out, pan. Take your time. 
that it is get well he knows we came over here to catfish don't you Andrew yeah catch much trolling but then again we didn't expect to we're gonna head over now and start checking our jugs Get your net ready, Andrew. No, he's too little in that. Yeah. But he's a catfish. Very small catfish. One on it. We missed the jug and had to go back again. I think we did. Look at him run. We can reset them. You got something on it? Got one on it. Little bit. About like the other little one, digging their feet. Yeah. 
This may be the smallest catfish ever caught on a jug. <laughs> Are you gonna get to land much? Nah, it's, I, I felt it was small. Oh, come on. She's tired as heck. Oops. Maybe the biggest one we've caught. I think he was just tired. Went with my went with my net. up all of the first set of jugs and now we're going to go up and get the second set. Andrew, get ready. That was a pretty good job there. I've never seen anybody do that. What's that? Well, you were hung up and you kept working him out of the tree. Where's that part of the Every once in a while you have a catfish do this. We've had one take it all the way out across the lake, almost over to where we were trolling. We've got to run it down. He's a moving quite a bit. Hope we get him before he gets in the trees. You and I caught a 32 pound flathead in here one time. 32 pounds? Yeah. What? About the size you said. They just some together if we got. Don't put the catfish in I'm gonna do this year. It's amazing how catfish that small 
could pull a jug that far across the water. Have you ever got a drum on one of these before? Uh, a wipers. I, I, I don't think I ever did. got the second set but we didn't have much luck well we got our jugs picked up and was trying to take a little break and we looked up across the lake and guess what we saw out we got the boat loaded got everything in the truck and ready to go and got ourselves in the truck without even getting wet and we had a great time we caught a lot of fish but they were awfully small we didn't have time to look for larger ones but that didn't make any difference to Andrew he had a great time and so did my brother and I and we hope you had a great time too watching this video <laughs>